Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are continuing the playlist of uh, microbiota, gut microflora uh, videos, and we will talk about the disbalance of some bacteria uh, that can lead to different diseases. First video will be about uh, uh, the obesity caused by disbalance. The second video will be about the inflammation or uh, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, uh, inflammatory bowel disease. So, let's start. There are six uh, dominant uh, types of uh, bacteria in our guts. 90% uh, are firmicutes or I would say firmicutes. They are very cute. And bacterioides, or bacterioidites, so difficult to spell it. Firmicutes, they produce short-chain fatty acids. Uh, these are substances that are so important for a regulation of our metabolism. They regulate, regulate their brain function, even our mood. They regulate our heart, uh, uh, lungs, uh, blood vessels. Uh, the work of our liver, the production of our fat, they regulate our appetite, uh, satiety feeling, uh, the work of pancreas, meaning uh, they will regulate the insulin resistance or uh, levels of uh, glucose and they regulate the cholesterol and uh, lipid uh, uh, metabolism. And here you can see there are bacillus, clostridium, enterococci, lactobacillus, and uh, ruminococcus. Uh, the other type are bacteroidetes. Uh, these are uh, more for inflammation and immunity, for protection. Some of them are potential adjunctive uh, methods, uh, remedies uh, for cancer patients. I was talking about cancer and probiotics in the separate video in the playlist. I will leave the link. Uh, in the description below. The thing is, uh, if there are imbalance, we are healthy. If there are not imbalance, we can see that these uh, firmicutes, uh, they can increase appetite and increase fat production and deposition, if there are too much, too many of them. There is a systematic review where they gathered a lot of different studies and uh, they found the association between high firmicutes and uh, obesity. This is the nice table of different investigations. You can see that lactobacilli, uh, the, these are already probiotics, the capsules that you usually take, or liquids. You can see that they all can help to influence uh, their uh, balance in uh, gut flora. They can decrease firmicutes that, firmicutes, I cannot pronounce it, uh, they can help to decrease uh, uh, these firmicutes that are pro-appetite and pro-fatness and um, they will help to increase bacterioides that are pro-immunity. Also, bacilli or saccharomyces may help uh, to uh, reduce the appetite and obesity and improve their immunity in the guts. Also, in one uh, study, uh, this bacteria uh, did not really help to decrease weight in uh, obese adolescents. Uh, there are other studies that show that really uh, probiotics, here you can see the name of the probiotic, you can read it yourself if you are searching uh, for probiotic to buy, you can always uh, Google it by the names of these bacteria that probiotic capsules contain. This uh, bacteria really help to decrease their fat deposition in uh, uh, humans. Although I want to notice that um, some lactobacilli, for example, or bifidobacteria can uh, vice versa decrease uh, bacterioides and increase firmicutes, uh, leading to increasing uh, the weight gain. For example, lactobacillus reuteri that I was talking uh, in the lecture about their cancer and probiotics may help to increase appetite and weight and uh, increase immunity. If you uh, don't want to take probiotics, uh, you can also influence your uh, bacteria with uh, different food. 
to decrease firmicutes and increase bacterioides, you can um, consume beans, legumes, or you can uh, also take Saccharomyces to improve this balance. Dear friends, in the next video we will talk about uh, what if uh, the person has too much inflammation in the guts, how can we influence uh, this condition. See the playlist on gut microbiota in the description below. I wish you good day, good luck, God bless you, bye-bye.